Hi guys, welcome to the ride. In this video, we're going to discuss the topic of the projectile motion. So a brief uh, definition about this motion is that this is the motion experienced by an object that moves along a curved path under the action of gravity. So obviously, at my drawings, this is a curved path. Okay, so not that perfect curve. There's a slight misalign misalignments along the path, but this is the curve. So yeah, that's right. So, and as you can see, there are uh, three drawings because there are three types of the projectile motion. I just don't know uh, the terms, uh, the specific term that describe each scenarios, but there are three scenarios. Uh, there are three scenarios that uh, commonly tackled or commonly asked on some exams, or quizzes, or, uh, or wherever it is. So, uh, the first scenario is that here so i will label it as number one so this first scenario is that uh, it comes up uh, from a cliff horizontally it falls on the ground with a, a range r and height y so the second is the second scenario is that uh, it comes from the ground and it also falls on the ground with a horizontal distance of r and the uh, vertical distance of y max and the third scenario is is that uh, it, uh, it it is the same as the first scenario although it has an angle theta and with much uh, larger horizontal distance of r and with a height of y sub a so as you can see I also write the uh, formulas from the straight line motion that two out of three equations from straight line motion here and here because we're going to use this uh, we're going to use these equations to derive the formulas for the projectile motion so our approach in this motion will be simultaneously using the x and y direction so unlike uh, straight line motion unlike on the straight line motion ano siya uh, nagagamit naman parehas na direction pero one at a time lamang pero dito simultaneously because as you can see on the third and the second scenario it has an angle theta so basically if this is your velocity and you have an angle theta of course it will have a rectangular component of by and vx and of course with a, ba with a basic foundation of trigonometry, your bx has a value of b sub o cosine theta. Your b sub y is b sub o sine theta. Okay, so uh, we're going to proceed from this formula uh, because it has uh, each formula of this as a different approach on x direction and y direction so let us start so uh, please listen carefully or take some uh, notes because uh, this uh, this picture or this explanation uh, has an integral part in the derivation of formulas because it has so many considerations and factors okay so let us start with the final velocity is equal to initial velocity plus acceleration times time so our approach in the x direction is that the velocity of the particle will be cons the horizontal velocity of the particle will be constant along the path. So if meron siya ditong vx is equal to 5 meters per second, dito 5 meters per second, 5 meters per second dito. Ibig sabihin if your velocity is constant here, meaning you have no acceleration. So this will be a sub x is equal to 0. And just copy the formula and just put a x subscript v o x because it's x direction plus a x t and your a sub x is equal to zero because your velocity is constant of course your final velocity is equal to initial velocity and on the displacement just uh, equate a sub x is equal to 0, then you will have only an s is equal to initial velocity times time. Okay, so I will also write here that uh, 
b sub x here is uh, v o cosine theta if you're going to use it on the second and third scenario with angle theta okay so sa y direction naman tayo so sa y direction since it is a vertical approach of course your acceleration will be the acceleration due to gravity and that will be negative g so just copy again the formula here just put a y subscript v o y so just re just replace all the letter a with a negative g with a minus gt here and the displacement the vertical displacement will be of course that will be b o y yeah because it's a uh, Oh, sorry for my handwriting. Uh, okay. So V O Y. Oh yeah. T minus one half G T square. So there you have it. We are going to use these equations into our projectile motion derivation of formulas. Okay, so let us proceed with the first scenario which is here. So I will change it by the black ink. Okay, so I will draw it again. Alright, sorry for not straight line. Oh my goodness. My lines are awful. Please forgive me on that. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, of course. So, uh, this uh, particle come up uh, at clip horizontally. So, siguro galing siya doon, gumulong, pinitek, or whatsoever. So, it will cover a distance of R. So, in this scenario, uh, it will have no angle. Okay? So, of course, vertical distance will be Y. So, as I said earlier, uh, we're going to use that the velocity horizontal velocity on each point of the path is constant from start to end so meaning the velocity here is the horizontal velocity here is the same at any point and our uh, consideration and our uh, what you call that assumption here is that the v uh, there is no uh, vertical velocity here so by is equal to zero okay so we're going to use because uh, this is a displacement of uh, vertical we're going to use s uh, we are going to reply it replace it with y so y is equal to uh, b o y t minus one half g t squared okay since it is a uh, pulse downward it will be negative y so b o y is equal to zero so there is no uh, vertical velocity here so cancel both negative so you will have that y is equal to one half g t squared okay so if you going to compute for the displacement y so just divide the gravity by two and times the time by square time squared so there you have it you have your first formula for the first scenario okay so second is that we're going to search and derive for the distance r okay replacing by black ink so not black pink black ink so as i said earlier also so s is equal to vot because uh, the horizontal velocity is constant along the path so we're going to use s and replace it by r so r is v o x t so there you have it yeah your r will be the horizontal velocity times time so just like a simple problem in physics uh, yeah, the same as straight line motion because your velocity at the horizontal is constant so there you have it so in this scenario uh, 
commonly asked questions here is only your R, Y, and of course T. So let us convert this T. That T means a uh, total time traveled with the particle from this. Uh, assuming this is point A to point B, so that will be T square root of square root of two uh, S a uh, two Y over G. So there you have it. You have your total time traveled when y is given okay okay so that's it so that's it uh, that's it guys uh, that was for the per scenario so in the next video we're going to derive the formulas for both second and third equation so uh, we cannot only give some uh, we cannot only consider one type of scenario here and all the equations are applicable to all because there are three different scenarios okay so thank you guys for listening so let us proceed from the for the next video which tells the uh, formula derivation for the second and third scenario so thank you for listening uh, let us learn let us derive